so we'll unlock and we're going to go to Skype Take a few seconds, it's connecting through my Wi Fi. All right, now I'm going to take a real bird's eye view here. I'm going to sleep the screen and just insert this onto the box. That should do it. Now we'll unsleep. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is start a Skype connection from right here. And I'm going to be calling the iPhone via Skype. I'm going to get some feedback initially because these things are too close. in a time. All right. So now you can see me. That's from my a third video camera. So that's from that camera on top of the screen is seeing me for this Skype. And and then of course if you look here you're seeing me, but that's from the iPhone. So if I wave my hand in front of the iPhone, there you go. All right, so we're connected. So all we got to do is plug in the uh, audio jack into the top of the iPhone like that, and then plug in the power. When you plug in the power, you see some beeps, some flashes there. Once the fish is flashing, it's initialized and the robot's ready. So all you got to do is go over to your remote, hit this plus to pull up a dial pad, and now you can start controlling the robot. So like I said before, uh, the 2 is forward, the 8 is reverse, the 5 is stop. The 4 and the 6 have dual purposes, so if you're moving already, the 4 will do a left turn. If you're stationary, the four will do a counterclockwise spin in place. So, and it's the same thing with the six, opposite of course. And then uh, <clears throat> I now have pulse width modulation set up in this, so you can control the speed of the motor, motors. Right now it's one uh, pulse width modulator, so it's controlling both motors at the same time. If you decide to go with this, then we can get uh, a little fancier and have dual pulse width modulators. You control them independently then. So to change the speed, the pulse width modulation, there are four buttons. So it's the outside corners. The ones down here uh, control the incremental, small increment speed. So this is increment up small increments, this is an increment down, small increments, and then the one and the three are the down large increments and up large increments. And you can, this can all be done dynamically while you're moving. <clears throat> so as a demonstration right here on my desk, just so you can see it, I'm going to uh, do a spin in place. So there's the robot, and I'm just going to do a four, so it's going to, going to do a counterclockwise spin in place. And you heard the tone. And if you look at the video from the iPhone, you can see it's uh, spinning around. So once you spun around to where you want to be, I'm going to stop right 
right there. Now you can hit two to go forward. Or you can hit eight to go backwards. Backwards is not as accurate because of, you got this one little center wheel in the back here. <clears throat> so, uh, like I said, we can do a counter, we can do a spin clockwise, or a counterclockwise, or you can do a forward and a right turn like this, so it's still moving but going forward. Now again, um, once we have dual pulse width modulation, if you want to go that route, then uh, what we can actually do on the right turns is instead of stopping the one motor, we can just slow it down like half speed so it does a slow right turn. But for now, it, uh, all it does is stop the right motor while it's moving and then power the outside one versus the spin in place which rotates the two at the same time but in opposite directions. Um, I think that's it. So what I can do now is we'll put this out on the floor. show you moving away and then uh, I'll switch to the screen so you can watch and see what I'm seeing. So now we're going forward. And you can see the next room is coming up. You can increase the speed. Let's make a slight left turn here. So you increase the speed. It's much faster. <laughs> you gotta get used to this. Uh, so I'm backing the speed down. to the uh, family room. I can bump the speed up a little bit now. And this tile is bouncing that back wheel around so it's snapping from left to right. Don't forget these two buttons down here too are the uh, these are the fast increments and these are the slow increments. So if you need to spin a little faster, I think I'm stuck on something. Yep. So this will slow the spin down. And it gets to a point where it's your zero out, so this is the, the lowest it will go. Let's back up a little bit. You see that? The tile keeps sticking that back, and I have to overcome a little bit of power to get through it. So I'm driving out to the window here. Uh, of course, the speed's a little fast here. We can slow it down. Slow down a little bit. 
Yeah, see that towel caught the back wheel again. Made it turn a little bit. That's all right. So we're coming into the breakfast room here. Now we're facing where we came. And when I first turned this thing on, it didn't have the uh, power control. <laughs> it was like trying to control a wild robot. Oops, you caught that back there. I should take this on my wood floor upstairs. Nice and smooth. If you hit the zero button, I didn't tell you about this one, but the zero button resets it to the default slow mode. That's it.